Too often, students do not realize or are unaware that exam day is an all-day affair. Really, it's an all-day affair. You should arrive at your regional test site at least 30 minutes prior to your scheduled exam time. Most test sites begin testing at 8 a.m. Therefore, you will need to arrive to the test site at 7.30 a.m. You need to be well rested and well prepared. The next few slides will introduce you to several exam day preparation tips. You want to make sure that you get plenty of rest the night before and eat a good breakfast the morning of your exam day. Be prepared. Get everything you will need to bring to the test site together the night before your scheduled test day, such as your two forms of proper identification, three number two pencils, an eraser, and a watch with the second hand. Don't forget to bring your nurse aid candidate handbook. While at the test site, when you have downtime, it will be a good idea for you to review. Regional test site evaluators are expecting the three C's, confidence, competence, and communication. During the written portion of your CEP, answer questions confidently. Be competent in the knowledge that your instructor instilled in you. Communicate with the evaluator. If you have questions, ask before the examination begins. The test evaluator will not answer any questions related to either the hands-on skills or written examinations once they begin. You are given two hours to complete the written examination. Spend about 45 to 60 seconds per question. This should give you time to review the test, making sure you have answered all questions. Do not spend too much time on one question. If you do not know the answer, don't guess. Place a tick mark next to the question number on your answer sheet. If you spend only 45 to 60 seconds on each question, you will have time to go back to unanswered questions to analyze and select an answer. Don't panic. Sometimes later questions will remind you of something you did not know earlier in the examination. Review and analyze both the question and answer choices. Sometimes the answer is within the question. Do not change your answer unless you are 100% certain that you have chosen the wrong answer. Most people change from right to wrong answers. While at the test site, try not to listen to what others say about either the written or hands-on skills examinations. It will only confuse you and cause you to begin questioning your own knowledge. Keep in mind how you were trained and the knowledge that was given to you by your instructor. Do not overthink the question. Never add into or take away from its content. This will cause you to mentally change the context of the question, resulting in you choosing an incorrect answer. Step outside the box. Take online practice tests. This will help you with managing how much time you spend on each question. It will also familiarize you with question content and context. Be observant of exception questions. These are questions that ask, all are true except or which is not correct. For these types of questions, you should pay more attention to the answer choices. Determine which answer choices are similar and which answer choice is different. The most important tip I can share with you is for you to know and have a good understanding of your training materials.